we can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. We can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. That's a loop. Loop. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. 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 That's a displaced loop. It's a pretty simple process. It's just record and stop. So he'll start a loop on his drum going through his loop station. Then it just keeps playing until I tell it to stop. And then uh, I'll put a loop on top of it. Because both of our loop stations aren't connected or synced in any other way, it's quite random. It's a huge part of my sound, because there's only one a man I'm trying to do three things. Mm -hmm. So his, his attitude to loops is quite different than mine for obvious reasons, because I'm often building a bass for things to go on, and, and he's kind of producing a bit of sound to go alongside that bass. I've tried to take looping in a different direction from what some other people do, because I'm trying to use it as another instrument within the sound, rather than as like a, um, a framework to put everything on. to incorporate that loop thing into the sound so I shut the machine off, turn it on, turn bits off, play over the top of it so it's constantly alive. The, the, more, the more we do it the more fluid it's getting and the more it's becoming uh, sort of surprising in some ways the kind of sound you can get out of it. Absolutely. And that's the goal, to make it almost like another limb that you don't need to think about doing, you just do it and it's fast and it, and it changes and it grows and it builds and it dies away and it's, it's like a functioning member of the band. Mm -hmm.